dreamers. Well, this is how the Dream Abroad subscribers have started addressing each other at our Facebook group and elsewhere. And I love the sense of community it translates into. So dreamers, I am Shelly from Dream Abroad and I'm here today to help especially those who have problems in scoring good at listening section of files or those who are not able to score as well as they want or need on the listening section but don't really know how and where to improve upon. You must have heard that most people can hear but only a few can listen. So let us understand the common mistakes the candidates do over the listening section of files. To continue with what we were saying, there's a big difference between hearing and listening. Listening means paying attention to what is being spoken in order to understand the meaning of the words. Unlike hearing, where one has to just take note of the spoken word. In fact, those who do not differentiate between their hearing and the listening skills do specially bad on the multiple choice questions at the listening section. So make sure that you focus on the meanings also instead of just listening to the audios that are being spoken to you. Not dating directions in their totality also is a major mistake done by a lot of students I teach. Usually, the candidates assume what the direction is saying and forget some of the important catchwords that it might be having. Remember, if the direction says no more than two words and you end up writing three words due to the overconfidence, you cannot blame IELTS to not give you marks for a particular answer in which you have done this. To break this habit, develop a practice of reading instructions and directions even while you are practicing at your home before the actual test. This will help you to understand that you will have enough time on the real paper to read the directions and yet solve the paper. Ah, spelling mistakes. Nearly everyone asks me if spellings matter on IELTS. Of course, they do. Not only in the writing test, but also on the listening as well as the reading test, spellings matter. Any word spelling spelled incorrectly would be marked wrong and you will not get marks for that however much your word sounded similar to the word spoken in the audio. So work on the spellings because they will help in listening, reading as well as the writing tests of IELTS. Now IELTS gives you some questions with answers ending S and ES. This means they expect you to give a plural word in answer. However, if you miss that S or ES, your answer will be marked wrong. Similarly, paying attention to words present, past or future tense and keeping it the same as that of the speaker in audio also makes your answers correct. Losing the focus. Oh, this happens with nearly everyone who takes eyes, if not for a long time, at least for some seconds or minutes. Don't panic if it happens with you too. Maybe the audio has not really spoken anything related to the question you are worried about thinking that you have missed it. Even if they have moved on, you cannot help yourself anyway by thinking about what could be the answer of the question you have missed. So the best and the only strategy to solve such questions is to move on. So do not lose heart. If you have not been able to catch some of the answers correctly, may God forbid that is. At the same time, never leave any question unanswered. A blank means a definite zero score on IELTS, while an incorrect answer still stands a chance of being right and getting you the score for the answer. Here, I would like to tell you that I don't mean a blank in the final answer sheet when you transfer. When you transfer the answer, I mean. I am here referring to the blank in the question paper when you're listening to the audio and, and you're filling the answers. If you miss a question and you think I will remember it later, trust my experience, trust my experience, in all likeliness, you will not be able to remember it. All right. Now, a majority of people do not use the time to look ahead, especially the time given between two sections. Try reading ahead instead of looking back or revising or waiting for them to announce for the next section. Following in trap of distractors can be dangerous for your score too. 
usually the distractors are when they speak something and they repeat that or, or they try to correct it usually they try to frame questions from there and and these work as the distractors so ideally you should not mark the answer for the first thing that you have listened rather you should listen carefully pay attention stay, stay patient and then answer lastly be street smart guys they aren't here to help you they are testing your listening skills so remember that they can give you synonyms or similar words instead of exactly giving you questions on what they are speaking so look out for any synonyms keeping in mind that this is a test and in all possibilities they will not keep it too simple for you okay now one last common mistake that people generally end up doing is and this is not at IELTS this is actually during the practice period that they justify their minds to not work well now please stop justifying your minds that they cannot listen and write simultaneously because a you are a multitasker anyway in your day-to-day -day life also and this is not the first time you are listening and doing something else around with the listening you keep on uh, combining your listening skills with something else throughout the day b everyone else who's taking aisles does this so it's not such a herculean task anyway now having said that i believe that these were the common errors that uh, that you would try to look for and you would try to improve your score upon by working on them if you haven't subscribed or liked or commented on our videos Please start doing that because you matter and your opinion matters to us.